Hey everyone, this is Kramon and welcome back to another Summoner's War Siege Battle. So today we're up against Dominions and Birdman Gang, I believe. We'll just check out the rankings first. So we do know that Birdman Gang is always around the top 20 region because they qualify for almost every Siege Battle tournament. And this time they're cutting it very close at rank 19. Alright, Dominions rank 19 as well, 10, 2 and 4. And Birdman Gang 9, 2, and 5. Oh, they lost quite a bit here. And we'll check out the defenses that both sides are running. So on Dominion side is the Kakano, Vigor, and Triana. Okay, standard stuff. Tawi 11, also the meta shit, which is the Kakano, Savannah, Clara. <laughs> and Tower 10, okay, this one, I believe it should be their LD Tower. Mm -hmm. So we're seeing a couple of Tenlungs, Seratus. Very interesting. On Birdman Gang side, however, Kakano Iris Triana. Tower 9. This one is very interesting. Sierra Clara and Kaki. So usually people place Masha instead of Kaki, but they are going for the F2P route. And this is their Tower 10, the LD Tower as well. It's already free for all on the first hit and we are just gonna try and use up all our swords as soon as possible. We are up against the Sierra Clara and Kaki. So this one, I believe the Heigang is there to just cleanse whatever the Clara does to us. So no stuns, that's very unfortunate. Oh, Alcyon is taking this damage. However, we do have the passive, which is the revive. And then now we just place a bomb. Perfect. At least we landed it onto the Sierra and Kaki, which is the two damage dealers on their side. And now we'll just try to focus the Kaki. Because the Sierra will die to the bomb. And it isn't looking too good. However, a lot of additional procs coming out from my Perna. <laughs> nice. Easy win. Perna. Very good unit. <laughs> so, I mean... Ever since the crit rate nerf on it, my Perna doesn't really crit as much as he used to, but yeah, additional prop still comes in handy on this unit. <laughs> and we'll just try to finish off this Clara, first win in the back. I've been eyeing on this tower for a while now, and finally we are able to go into it. It's Louis Ragdoll, aka Icing Dude's defense, the Kakano, Tianlang, and Triana. We're just gonna bulwark Skogol this one. Because I feel the only damage dealer should be the Kakano. Most of the time, Triana is just there to protect the team. Full tank build. So we're seeing the Triana not doing too much damage. We're gonna focus on it first. Um, yeah, we don't really need to cleanse just yet. Okay. 13,000 crit without armor break. Pretty nice. And then once our Skogo moves, we have a chance to actually kill off this Triana. Boom! Okay, Kakano should die from this as well. 3v1, very simple from here. <laughs> and then we just throw our rock up. Once our Skogo moves, this Tianlang is definitely a dead unit. We are gonna hit Dominion's inner defense and it's their Singza, Ophelia, and Molly. So this, this defense has been in the meta for a really long time right now. And... Most of the time, it's already tapered out already. <laughs> you don't really see guilds using this defense anymore. However, a very safe counter, of course, is the Melite, Rakuni, and Kaki, where you have Melite and Kaki on destroy. And all you have to do, honestly, whenever you're in this kind of fights and in this kind of situation, just press the auto button um, and probably kill off the Ophelia first. The reason why I aim Monkey is because he doesn't have the threat stayed up just yet and from now we we'll just try to focus the Ophelia once the Ophelia goes down the destroy runes will kick in and the Molly won't be able to heal as much as she would like and we should be good from there this took quite a while but hopefully this Ophelia goes down finally left the Molly here and we are good to go for our next fight We'll be entering this Tower 8 and it's the Kakano, Beta, and Fuki. So we are seeing this defense a lot now in current meta. And how I usually deal with this is my Kakano, Vigor, and Triana where we just try to focus the Kakano first. Yes, we landed the armor break. So that's very nice. With this anti-crit buff and the immunity, doesn't really matter. Can we kill? Oh, we missed the crit. Oh shit, come on. 
Not enough to kill! Okay, we are gonna finish off the Karkano first. So, Beta revives. We are gonna go for the hidden aim again and we'll cleanse away the armor break. We do have a heal coming out from Vigor, right? There we go. Okay, we'll just finish off the Karkano here. And now we'll just try to focus on to the beta first. Oh my god, my Vigor might die though. We don't have the cleanse. Shit. We don't have heals as well. Vigor is dead. Additional turn. Oh my god. Everything is going twice on their side. We have to crit this beta. Okay. Nice crit. Additional turn again. But we do have the hidden aim. Come on. I think we win. <laughs> what the fan? I feel like we got robbed in that fight. We should have won that one, but three turns every single time. Additional proccing. That Fuki, too strong. <laughs> How to deal with that shit? I don't know. But yeah, we'll focus on this fight. It's the Busted Odin and Kaki. I'm gonna bring in my more Savannah and Masha. So we are just gonna kill off the Kaki first. Nice additional proc. And this Odin is already gonna die here. Mm, great stun. We'll just strip everything here. And with the revive up, it means that he doesn't have any ignore damage. And even if he has it, it's not gonna ignore my more because more has the passive. We won't take any damage from that. And I believe we should be in a very good spot. Left this Bustad alone. And whenever I see things like they do not have speed leads on their side with the Bustad, I'm pretty confident with my runes that we should be able to outspeed. So yep, nice armor break. This should do it. There's a lot of towers open up and we are gonna hit this Sierra, Jogan and Masha with our speed comp. So this one, no introduction needed as long as we outspeed the Jogan. I think we should win. Perfect! Alright, we are faster than the Jogan. Winds of changes into time to loot. We have to land the armor break. Perfect. And then with this flames of hell, everything should die. Okay, maybe not, but they'll die to the dots, right? <laughs> we even resisted the scroll tap. So yeah, very beautiful here. And the Masha will definitely go down. We are seeing this very interesting defense, which is the more Tianlong supporting the Savannah, which is the soul damage dealer, basically. And double strippers on their side. So with Rika, Harmonia, and Retash, we are very high on resistance. So hopefully we can resist the strips coming out from them. Okay. Rolling spike. No stuns as well from this spare. I believe it should be on this spare, right? And then we'll just go for armor breaks. Place the dots. They do not have heals, which is uh, very nice for us. So can we stun? Only get the Tianlang. However, this Savannah will be dismounted soon. So next turn, she moves. She'll be dismounted. We don't really need to touch her already. And then we'll just try to focus on to the Tianlang. Because Tianlang is the armor breaker on his side. Come on. We didn't get any sleep. Yo, yo, yo. Don't prop. Alright, we are gonna cleanse the armor break. Just in case if that savannah procs, we might die. <laughs> uh, can we just kill off this Tianlong? Perfect. Nice additional prop. We are gonna work on to the more. So savannah definitely a dead unit. With this fire guardian angel, everything should die. We'll be able to hit this LD tower coming up from Birdman Gang and it's the Kakano, Clara and Han. So very interesting defense. However, I feel like we can double bomb this one. So Malaka Sien, we do have accuracy lead and we need a protection. So in the form of Triana can be good. We do have a cleanse for any of our bombers that get stunned up. However, if the Clara triple stuns us, we might be in trouble. <laughs> so let's see. You got to be kidding me, man. Yo! Oh, I don't think this bomb kills, man. <laughs> Shit! Very unfortunate. Our Chiana got stunned up. Yeah, and we can't even kill this Han. Shit, man. Yeah, two more turns for my bomb. This is GG. It's not every day we see a Galnir on defense, so whenever we have the chance, we have to take the opportunity to fight it. 
and it's the Gilnir, Vigor, and Edna. I feel like with the team that I'm running, Elajo, Diana, and Fingen, we are all very tanky individually, and especially with Elajo's HP leader as well, complementing with the Diana and Fingen, right? So we shouldn't die that easily. Can we armor break? We missed the armor break, so very unfortunate. We can't really transform just yet. We'll just go for normal attack. And I do not want to place any buffs because whenever I place buffs, Gelnir gets the stacks, which uh, makes him able to heal up his whole team every single time I do damage. So once we bring down this Etna, very easy. 2v3 from here, Gelnir and Vigor can't really do anything to us because Vigor, of course, is the elemental disadvantage to win. And from here, all we have to do is focus on to the Vigor, leaving Gelnir last, and we should have this one in the back. We finally land Armor Break onto the Gelnir, and without any more stacks on his side, this unit should definitely die. With this inevitable wound, let's see damage 6.4k per crit. The siege battle has finally concluded and we got 297 crystals followed by 206 guild points. We'll head over to check out the map layout at the end of that fight. So Birdman Gang securing the second place followed by Dominions at third. We'll head over to open up the rubbish box. No more shiny left so it doesn't really matter what we actually get from here. Let's see. Okay, we do have a wind scroll which is pretty nice. Let's just summon whatever we have. Not much scrolls, but yeah, I'm never gonna save again. <laughs> so I believe we shouldn't get any lightnings here. Boom, boom, uh, with the scroll. Yeah, there we go, tree trash. And then this will be the end of the video, guys. Please make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already, and like this video as well. Take care, stay safe, and I'll definitely catch you guys soon in the next one. Peace out.